Hi guys, today we are going to discuss concentration effect and second gas effect. Most of the students have been confused between these two terms. What is concentration effect and what is second gas effect? So today, so today at the end of this class, we are going to differentiate between these two terms. What is exactly the concentration effect and what is exactly the second gas effect? Even though these definitions are have been different, but there are actually interchangeably it has been used in between. So what is exactly the term means? Okay. So first, uh, we will start with an example of. Uh, for, for one session so that we will be proceeding to the concentration effect second hand effect further so consider a person's total lung capacity is 4 liters okay so the patient is uh, total lung capacity is actually 4 liters of this when a patient is taking a, a fresh gas flow intake of this it contains 4 liter of the 4 liters 50 percent is oxygen and 50 percent is 50 percent is nitrous oxide so when 50% oxygen and 50% nitrous oxide is approximately about 2 liters of oxygen and 2 liters of nitrous oxide total. Okay, this is. So here actually this is the normal uh, total lung capacity that I mentioned 4 liters of the 50% is 50% this. When a patient taken a breath, it uh, causes, uh, here I want to include one Oswald blood gas solubility what it states is that actually the solubility of the blood gas uh, solubility of the any anesthetic agent is nothing but the ratio of concentration of anesthetic agent in the blood to that of concentration of anesthetic agent in the alveoli so blood to that of alveoli agent suppose if oswald blood gas coefficient is zero it means the gas is totally insoluble in the blood and it have faster rate of diffusion from alveoli to the blood and faster quick onset of action. So why I am telling is actually nitrous oxide is the one gas which have the Oswald blood gas solubility coefficient of around 0.47. So it have quicker onset of um, quicker onset of action and faster rate of diffusion from alveoli to the blood to create an uh, equilibrium. Okay. So now consider from these two liters, okay, because of this oscillate particle coefficient, 50% of the nitrous has been uptaken at the first minute where you have given this gas, 4 liters with the gas mixture, 50% of the nitrous has been uptaken into the blood. So now the concentration of gas in the alveoli has become 3 liters. How it become 3 liters? We have alveoli which contains 50% of oxygen that is about 2 liters and now from these 2 liters, 1 liter that is 50% is 1 liter so 1 liter have been taken up to the blood so now remaining is actually how many liters 1 liters of nitrous so total 50% oxygen that is 2 liters of oxygen 1 liter total 3 liters so because of this now the concentration of uh, nitrous how will you say before you say actually 50% now how will you men can mention that nitrous oxide concentration is 1 liter of the of 3 liters so 1 of 3 how much it will come one of three how much uh, approximately i'm very poor in max so i will calculate and tell just thousand liters of three thousand liters so it will be approximately around 30 33 so that means 33 percent approximately is the concentration of the nitrous oxide now when because of this uh, because now how we how many is that three liters is remaining in the alveoli so it is sub atmospheric so what the patient will do so th only three liters is i am having so i have to take a next breath so now the patient will uh, start take the next breath to fill that remaining one liters so now this taken one liter of breath next breath so which contains of the one liter again the same mixture 50 percent of oxygen and 50 percent is nitrous so how it how it become 50 percent of oxygen is that means one liter is 500 ml 500 ml 500 ml so now the patient is uh, taken total oxygen is 2 liters already is having and now 1 liter is taking 500 ml so 2500 ml oxygen plus 500 ml nitrous already 1 liters is nitrous is there in the patient lung so total 1500 ml nitrous oxide is there so now the concentration of nitrous oxide if you calculate how will become 1500 ml 
of the 4000 so it will be coming approximately around 37.5 percent approximately so this is this this is known as actually concentration of an augmented gas flow what is concentration effect is before it was 50 percent nitrous was there when it is uptaken because of this uh, 50 percent of this uptaken there causes one liter from that one liter uh, total three liters there is a concentration gradient because of this the gas which is there before 50 percent it is concentrated to 33 percent so guys this is the first part of concentration 33 percent this is the first part of concentration so this is known as concentrating effect and followed by which because of this deficient in one liter which is deficient in one liter in alveoli which is uh, further compensated by intake of one liter this is known as augmented gas inflow or ventilation drive they will tell okay so this is the two parts of definitions of concentration effect one is your concentrating effect and second is augmented gas inflow to replace the lost volume in alveoli okay guys thank you next we will be seeing the second gas effect okay hey guys this is continuation of this last video now second gas effect so this is an example i have already made for you guys to understand better okay so first initially consider the patient is breathing four liters of four liters that is the total lung capacity of the individual that is four liters okay of that 50 percent of the gas is nitrous and 49 percent is oxygen and one person inhalation anesthetic agent the isofluorine i added actually so here inhalation volatile anesthetic agent with oxygen nitrogen nitrous mixture has been given to an individual so i have mentioned the individual volumes 50 percent of the four liters is 2000 ml 49 percent of oxygen is 1960 ml and one percent of isofluorine which is approximately in four liters around 40 ml okay so you know because of this concentration effect 50% of the nitrous oxide has been uptaken because of the ready diffusion Oswald coefficient I told in the last uh, video. So because this nitrous, because of this 50% nitrous uptake, the concentration of this individual agents in three liters I have mentioned because 50% has been uptaken, one liter has been gone. So in these three liters, the concentration of nitrous oxide is approximately 33.3% and concentration of oxygen in these three liters is 65.3% and ISO is 1.3 percent so this is concentration eff effect you know the patient takes next breath to co compensate this one liter 500 ml of nitrous everything is coming and again the concentration of individual gases I mentioned for approximate 4 liters for 4 liters um, consider so, uh, how I get this 1.25 percent of isofluorine here is I have here 40 ml is there and another 10 ml so 50 ml in 4 liters I have seen the values I calculated it it come approximately up to 1.25 percent isofluorine so from this we have come to idea that the patient is first initially inhaling only 1 percent of isofluorine but with subsequent breath and nitrous uptake the concentration of this inhalation agent has increased one from 1% 1 to 1.3% 1.25 around 1.3% it is coming that means the concentration of the uh, administration of the second that is volatile anesthetic agent with nitrous oxide the concentration of this uh, potent agent in the alveoli is increasing along with that not only it increases the concentration in the alveoli it also facilitate the uptake of this inhalation agent from alveoli to the blood this is uh, this is further concentration because just consider uh, an example if an inhaled anesthetic concentration initially it was one person and nitrous because of this increased diffusing capacity it increases the concentration of this inhalation agent to 1.3 percent now there is there exists a uh, every agent in the alveoli exists a gradient between the blood and alveoli because of this increased gradient here it causes more flow of the agent from alveoli to the blood so what nitrous is doing it not only increasing the concentration of the gases in the alveoli it facilitates the movement of this inhaled anesthetic 
from alveoli to the blood to achieve the concentration in the blood to uh, attain adequate analgis, uh, anesthesia so this is known as second gas effect the proper definition is administration of the potent anesthetic agent with nitrous oxide it increases the concentration of the potent anesthetic agent in the alveoli via its uptake and that is further concentration via the uptake of nitrous oxide this process is known as second gas effect okay i think really you guys got a uh, idea about concentrating effect and second gas effect if you have any doubt regarding this just comment me or else you can uh, just take a pass the video and then see from first you can able to understand the second gas effect better okay and uh, don't forget to subscribe this channel guys so that it will be motivating for me to do more videos and uh, clear your doubts as well okay thank you guys